Hey guys, it's Jenna and Mike. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do kind of like a day in the life vlog. I haven't done one of these, but I don't know. I think we have a couple fun things planned today and it would be fun to bring you guys along. We've got some house projects. We're gonna go to the RH showroom and they actually have a restaurant at the one in Charlotte and it's supposed to be like really pretty. So I thought that'd be fun to bring you guys along on. Oh my gosh. Right now we are going to, <laughs> Kona is crazy. <laughs> This is her normal wake up energy. Um, but we are going to make some breakfast. If you guys haven't tried these, I highly recommend. They are the roasted potatoes with peppers and onions from Trader Joe's. They come in the frozen section and we just pop them in the air fryer for like 10 minutes and they come out amazing. Um, we used to have cinnamon rolls every single day during quarantine <laughs> and we've hopefully got out of that habit but um well we haven't had them for a couple weeks now so i figured i'd bring them back today but these guys are a dollar from aldi and i think they're really good do you think so mike yeah, yeah they're right yeah oh. they're good <laughs> Well, that was very Clearly, we were having them every day. So they yeah, were. we got kind of used to them, but they are good for a little treat. And then we're just going to make some <sighs> eggs, and it'll be a yummy little breakfast to start our day and to fuel us for our house projects. Right, Mike? <laughs> He's like, turn the camera off and let's eat. <laughs> We just finished our breakfast and now we are hanging these pendant lights. I am so excited because I was looking for the perfect black cone shaped pendants and I could not find them anywhere except for rejuvenation and they were like $500 a pendant and I was not spending $1,000 on two pendant lights and I do feel like pendants are kind of make or break like they are statement pieces so I wanted to make sure they looked nice but I wanted to find some cheap ones and I found these guys from Joss and Maine and they were $140 they were on sale they were normally like $180 but they usually always have sales on Joss and Maine so I think they're gonna look really good with our bar stools they'll provide a nice contrast because our kitchen is overwhelmingly white and I kind of wanted a little bit of a pop so they make more of a statement so we're just trying to figure out how many of these little metal rods we need to kind of twist on here because you want to hang your pendants about three feet from your counter. So, um, you know, you can kind of play with that a little bit, but we're gonna try to keep it right around three feet. And yeah, so we're gonna figure out how to hang this. Mike watched a couple of YouTube videos, right? I watched a video. Oh. I'm gonna wing it. Oh. All right, well, hopefully no electrocutions, so. Safety first. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> guys I love the size I love the color I think that this was a very good cheaper option for kind of what I was looking for I think that they look really good they did install our pendants like kind of wide I feel like but um they're still over the island yeah and I think because our room's all off center and everything they had to do that just to center it with the yeah. kitchen and stuff but still looks good I think Okay, so I did just want to show you guys, I've had a couple of questions about our paint color and it is a warm white. So as you can see, like this is a very bright white and it contrasts against our trim and our door, which is really nice. But I have some kind of 
bad news for you guys, I guess. It's just kind of like, what? That's good news. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just like, I don't know if you'd want to get this paint because when we were building our house, we didn't want to pay for a paint upgrade just because we were like, well, we know how to paint walls and we can do that ourselves. And it was kind of ridiculous what they were charging. So they offered like this basic eggshell white. So we were like, okay, well, we'll take that. So it's very cheap paint. Like if you brush up against it or nick it with a chair or whatever, it kind of does scuff up, which is kind of annoying, but it's very cheap because we went to the Sherwin-Williams store because we needed to get some paint to match. And here, let me show you guys. So at the Sherwin-Williams store, they were like, um, sorry, it's really dark. They were like, um, it only comes in a five gallon tub, but this whole big thing was $13. So if you want really cheap, warm white paint for your walls, Sherwin-Williams has got you with their basic eggshell white. It's a flat paint, you know, it's nothing crazy, but that is what's on our walls, so. All right, you guys, so now we are going to cut Mike's hair. We just started doing it during quarantine and, <laughs> oh. Thank you for aggressive, the head shake. Aggressive hair shake. Um, but we, yeah, we just started doing it during quarantine and honestly it's cheaper. So we just kept doing it. I am not an expert by any means, but I've kind of got it down now. So we're gonna do that so he can look clean and fresh for the nice restaurant we're gonna be going to. Anyway, so we're gonna cut his hair and then head off to the restoration hardware showroom and restaurant. <laughs> Mike's hair is all done and he looks nice and spiffy. Wouldn't you say, Mike? You like it? Sure, it looks great. Yes. You did sure. Great <laughs> sure, he did okay. It looks great. You did great. <laughs> anyway, I feel very accomplished because his hair is cut and the pendants are hung. So now we're going to kind of go enjoy our day a little bit. We're going to go to the Restoration Hardware oh, yeah. Showroom. Mike's oh. so stoked. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're going to restore some hardware. I've never been to a restoration hardware showroom in my life. I always like look at their pretty stuff online and you know, I kind of know what stuff they have, but I've never actually been to one in person. So this should be kind of fun. I'm excited and yeah, so we'll see you guys there. All right, you guys, so RH, what are your thoughts, Mike? This is our first time we've been there, number one. Number two, um, we weren't allowed to film in the showroom, so sorry for the lack of footage, but we just were told we weren't allowed. I asked because obviously when you go through there with the camera, I always like want to make sure I'm allowed, and the girl was like, no, you can't. So I was like, oh, okay. But sorry, what, were, what are your thoughts, Mike? My thoughts? Um, it was pretty good it was okay I don't know I feel like after that visit it's just not our thing but that's just our opinions obviously it's a very beautiful place it's that's why so nice many people place. love it yeah, yeah it's beautiful like oh my gosh like it's crazy how the whole showroom is symmetrical like that you walk into one side and it looks like a mirror image of the other I mean it's very beautiful the ceilings are so high in there it's super grand and like very impressive like the scale in there is crazy so mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Food was good. The food was good. The food was good. we ordered drinks. Didn't bring them. Never got them. Never. They were never on our bill or anything. But Sorry. yeah, I think she just totally forgot to like put them in. But it's fine. We yeah. we told ourselves we're like whatever. We'll save the money and then we'll have margaritas with our tacos tonight. Yeah, and so more money to go to Culver's. <laughs> yeah, more money for fast food. <laughs> But the food was honestly really good. Like that little charcuterie board thing. The cheese just like tasted like butter, didn't you think? 
Sure. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was so good. That's Mike good. is not like a charcuterie board person. Dude, You're a greasy serving, food person. Just serving stuff up on a paper plate that tastes good. That's all you need. <laughs> um, yeah, we are now going to go home and hopefully we can get home before sunset so we can give our dog a walk because it's been kind of rainy here lately. I feel like she's just been cooped up so maybe we can kind of go on a sunset walk throughout the neighborhood and then have some tacos and margaritas. We'll see you at home. Hey Kona. Kona. You want to go on a walk? Oh boy! Oh boy! It's walk time! Let's do it! Yeah, let's go! Okay. All right, you guys, so we're back home and we are now going to cook some dinner. We're gonna do some tacos and margaritas. This is like our go-to meal. It's probably eaten at least twice a week, wouldn't you say, here? Yeah. Before we get started, I just wanted to show you the secret ingredient in our tacos. It is this delicious Mexican style corn from Trader Joe's. This stuff is so good and all we do is we just microwave it, put a little bit of the cojita cheese on top and that is it and you just put it on your tacos. Seriously, it's amazing. If you guys have tried this stuff, you know it's a game changer. I think it is anyway. Don't you think, Mike? Oh yeah, it is. Changed our lives. It's really good. <laughs> That concludes this video, you guys. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your guys' support so much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.